Okay, questions for Kevin. Second row here on two in the hat. Go ahead, Dwayne. Thank you. Um, Kevin, two things. One, just your thoughts on the game. Obviously a record, 211 points. I know the guys have talked about trying to make it more competitive, but just your thoughts on the game itself. Yeah, I mean, the shot making from the East was incredible. I mean, hard to play defense when somebody's shooting 30, 40 footers over you, you know, so display of shooting tonight, great display of shooting tonight by them, and record setting points is pretty cool. Curious, the other, only other question I had after that is obviously you guys are going into the second half of the season, look like you're going to be healthy going into the Dallas game, how big will that be moving forward and what you guys are trying to accomplish? Yeah, it's a good test for us. They got, they've been playing well lately, and uh, they got some new additions to their team, which is uh, going to challenge us. So it's a great game to start the second half of the season with. Front row, center. Ozzie Birdsell here with the Maroons Tiger at Morehouse College. This year, the league made even more changes to the Saturday night uh, events. Do you think the league is doing a good job in making the events more entertaining for the fans? Yeah, I mean, I feel like the league is always looking out for the fans and trying to keep their interest high. You know, this All-Star weekend been going on for a long, long time, so the keep people engaged is tough to do, you know. So um, I think they're doing the best job that they can. I mean, people are always excited for All-Star Weekend, and I think they do as best, you know, a great job of trying to keep everybody engaged the whole time. Again, right in the front. Hey, this is Nate Eck, is the Indy Star. Uh, Katie, it's 20 straight All-Star appearances for LeBron. So just you've seen a lot of these from him. Just what appreciation do you have for kind of what it's taken uh, out of him to, to sustain it at, at this age, at this late in the game? Yeah, it's just testament to the hard work and the enthusiasm he has for the game of basketball. Um, you know, obviously multi-talented, talented at everything on the floor, but uh, I think anybody in any walk of life could pick up on his love and care for the game of basketball, his teammates, and just helping pushing the game forward. I mean, I think everybody can take from that and learn and uh, his story has been inspiring for the last 20 years. Eric, fourth row on the right. Hey, Kevin. Um, you obviously got to play with Steph. You talked about the incredible shot making tonight. Just what have you seen from Dame pushing that, that distance further and further out as the years have gone by? Yeah, me and Kawhi was in awe of him shooting from the half court line like it's a free throw, you know? And um, that's just strength, power, just muscle memory, you know. There's somebody who works extremely hard every day on their craft to be able to do that um, without flinching, you know. It was just normal, natural motion. So those are the supreme athletes, and uh, it's good that we get to celebrate them on weekends like this. And it's pretty cool he bringing that All-Star Game MVP back to his hometown and back to his family. Third row on the right. Go ahead. Hey, Kevin. Uh, you guys have one of the tougher schedules remaining the rest of the way. I was wondering, are those conversations that you all have as a team, and what are you looking forward to learning most about your team through it? No, we don't have – we don't really necessarily talk about the strength of schedule. But we respect every team regardless, and we try to focus on us as much as possible each night. Um, so it's just about building our habits, getting better at what we already established, uh, and uh, – pushing forward and you know I think just playing against some of the teams that's going to be there at the end of the season is going to be a great test before we head to the playoffs. Katie, James Ward, The Athletic, what do you think of the jump that Tyrese Halliburton has made this season and him finding that balance between going into kill mode and still yeah. being a team player? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a balance you always try to figure out each and every game. It may be something different, you know. I think when he has the ball in his hands and he's controlling the game, um, Coach can ask of anything from him to score or to get the teammates involved. I think he's he's up and ready to do anything. Coach asks of him. His teammates love him. Fans love him. I just you know I'm I'm, ex I'm excited to watch his career going forward because I know he's going to do some incredible things here in Indiana. But just for the game of basketball as a whole, you can tell he's one of those point guards that the next generation, probably kids that's in elementary school, middle school, will be looking up to. You know so. Um, it's cool. it's cool he got his opportunity and got his franchise to kind of run on his own. Third row here on the left. KD, over the years, the All-Star Game has evolved as a platform to really shed light on issues that need to be brought up. This year, it was a platform to really showcase women's empowerment with Steph and Sabrina. Yeah. Over the years, how have you seen the All-Star Game evolve into this platform where you can really bring to light issues that need to be brought to light? 
Yeah, I just feel like, I mean, it's always been that way in the NBA, I think. And um, since the social media era, you know, it's probably seeing more and more of it from each team. But I think a lot of guys in the past as well have stood up for things that they believed in, social issues in the league. And um, and it's given us the, you know, confidence to go out there and do that as well in this generation. So we're only doing what we've seen the greats do before us. And they set a great example when it comes to that. And uh, it's good that we have such a huge platform that this message can get out quick to anybody around the world. KD, you've, uh, KD right Back here. Right. Sorry. Uh, Champ from ABS EBN News. KD, you've experienced both formats, uh, drafting your teammates and going back to the East and West Conference uh, format. Which for you is better, like, which gives better intensity? Like, you went back to the old format and you think you should go back to what you want? I like the East and West. You know, it's always, I like playing conferences versus conference and the traditional way is something I grew up on, and hopefully we go back to playing in our own jerseys too, you know. But um, traditional way, the new, you know, the way, the, the picking teams, all that stuff, it don't matter. I mean, it's, it's all about the, the product on the court and celebrating the best players in the league at that moment. Last question right in front of you. Uh, KD, Kobe Scales, uh, Morehouse College, Maroon Tiger. Um, you know, we've talked about some of the older guys. we talked about some of the younger guys. Uh, but for you personally, what keeps you going? Um, not only to get make it to All Star, but you know, make deep runs in the playoffs, um, and then you know, just what keeps you going every yeah. year. I just, I just love my job. I love getting up and doing what I do every day. Um, it's just in my DNA at this point to just get up and hoop. You know, so I enjoy every part of it. It's stressful times, no doubt, but. I enjoy that too. I mean, obviously when I'm out of those stressful times, it's cool to look back and get better from those, but I just love everything about my job, you know, and I want to do it as long as I can. Thank you, Kevin.